This is a full YouTube automation tutorial and I will show you step by step how you can create your own YouTube automation channel without any money. So my name is Hessel and I've been doing YouTube automation for three years now and when I started with this business model I was completely broke. So I found ways how to do it without money and I built strategies that now allow me to earn over 10,000 a month with YouTube automation passively every single month. So it took me years and years to the point where I am right now simply because I had to discover everything myself. And my goal with this step-by-step -step tutorial is to save you from months of time to discover what you actually need to do and to save you from unnecessary spending money on things that you might not even need. So all of this information will be available for completely free and if you value that please leave a like on this video and please subscribe to the channel. And as this will be a full guide with a lot of information I want you to save this video in YouTube and actually watch it multiple times so you actually really know what to do. So without further ado, let's start with the video. So here is why you need a niche in the first place. The first reason is you build an audience that's interested in a specific category. Let's say you have a YouTube channel and you create videos about dogs. Then the people watching your videos are probably into dogs. Now if you suddenly create videos about football, cats or Elon Musk, most people who viewed your previous videos about dogs will not be interested in those videos. So sticking with one niche is very important to build an audience. The second reason is that people have a reason to watch your content. Are they watching because they like a personality or because they like the overall niche or the topics? So let me show you an example of a channel with a person behind it, a personality channel. People that watch Mr. Beast watch his videos because they like him. They like the face and the person behind the videos. With a cash cow channel, you don't want to show your face. So people will not watch the content because of you. Therefore, we need to have another reason why they want to watch our videos. And for that, a niche is an absolute must. Let's say person A watches dog videos because they like dogs. And person B watches F1 videos because they like car race. If we then create videos about topics in one of those niches, people will enjoy watching the videos and the content and subscribe to the channels. Then lastly, YouTube will have a better understanding of what your videos will be about. Let's say you upload an Elon Musk video on day one, then the second day a video about basketball, then the day after you create a video about football, then YouTube has no clue who to recommend these videos to. By sticking to a specific niche, they actually do know the audience and that will allow you to grow much faster and get more views to recommendations and browse features. Now that you know the importance of a niche, let's go over the three requirements for a good niche on YouTube. And this is absolutely necessary if you want to succeed on YouTube. So these are the requirements of a good niche. First of all, do we have proof of concept? then do you actually have an interest in the niche you want to start in? And lastly, is the niche beginner friendly to start with? First of all, do we have proof of concept? So are there already channels successful in the niche you want to start in? If that is not the case, you will be investing time into something you don't even know it works. So make sure you find something that already works so you will be not wasting money. Then, do you have an interest in the niche yourself? Think about it. If you now start a channel in something you don't know anything about, about or you don't like it at all, you will need to do way more research and way more work than the competition. So find something you know more about than the average person that will give you a massive kickstart. Then lastly, is the niche beginner friendly? So let me show you an example channel and the channel is called Real Life Lore. And this channel makes informational videos about anything. You can see it right here, why 97% of Namibia is empty, why Turkey is preparing to invade Syria. All those informational videos about geographical and historical things. So now when we click on one of his videos, we can see all those crazy animations right here. And this is not low barrier to entry. These videos are very expensive to make. The video quality is extremely good and if we would make videos like this we would need to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on video production and that is not really what we want. So make sure you don't go into a niche where the video production cost is crazy high or where the overall quality of the videos is crazy high. So now that you know why a niche is important and what the three requirements are of a niche, I'm going to show you a list of niches where you can potentially start in for completely free. So this is the list right here of all the niches. You can see I just added a few niches in here which have proof of concept, which are actually beginner friendly and where you can potentially start in. So you can just go to the link in the description. I will leave the list right there. So now you don't need to do hours and hours of research to find your perfect niche because I already listed 
some niches in here that are already proven to work. And lastly, I want to show you Google News. And this can be very, very helpful for topics like basketball, Formula One, football, or anything that's more news related. So with all those specific niches where your channel is about, Google News can literally be a gold mine for good topics. So right now I'm on Google News and let's type in Formula One and let's look for news in the Formula One world. So we can see Wolf, new Hamilton F1 deal will be sorted in a few hours. And Nikita Mazepin has secret racing plan as he plots a Formula One return. You can see all those topics where we can possibly make a cash cow video about. And now here comes something important, especially when you're just starting out with a fresh channel. You want to be looking for topics that go about drama. For example, party one versus party two. Here you can see, for example, Nikita Mazepin has secret racing plan as he plots Formula One return. So he wants to return, Formula One doesn't want that. So how is that gonna go? So you can basically see two parties against each other fighting, which creates drama. And those those are exactly the topics you need. Here we can see another one. F1 teams looking to exploit cost cap extras, says Alpine. You can see again, a bit of drama forming around here. And this is again exactly a topic or a title you could possibly use for a video. So basically using Google News as video idea source for these type of niches can literally turn your channel into a gold mine if you do it right and find the good topics that create drama. So now let's dive into the channel creation part and what I'm about to show you right here is very important so make sure you keep close attention. First of all, you want to create your YouTube channel on a new fresh email address. You simply want to go to Google, you can go to Gmail right here and then you can say create account and this is in Dutch for me, but just create a new account. But just make sure that you do this on a new account as that's very important for security reasons. So you simply want to follow the steps right here. It's pretty straightforward and really easy. And once you've done that, I'll get back to you. So you basically want to go to the process of creating a new Gmail account. Um, just do this, it's very straightforward and you can create your YouTube channel from there. So once you've created your new email address, you simply want to go to YouTube and make sure you are logged in on the new email address you just created. Then we can go to the profile picture, to the logo of that email address, and we can go to settings right here. Now from settings, we want to say add or manage your channel, and we want to add a channel. So we can see right here, this is our original one, and this is where we want to make our cash cow channel from, our YouTube automation channel. So now we can give this a name, which I'm gonna name Formula One Dudes, just as an example to show you exactly how this works. And then we simply want to hit create right here. So now we successfully created our channel right here, but we also have to do some setup work. So for that, we want to go to the profile picture and go to YouTube studio. So now we want to hit continue right here and we want to go to settings all the way down here. First of all, general settings, US dollar, perfect. Then the channel, the country of residence. So for me, that is the Netherlands. So you want to make sure that you put this on the country you right now live in. We also can add keywords to our channel, which can imp improve this SEO. We can also add keywords to our channel, which improves the SEO of our YouTube channel. So we can add, for example, Formula One, F1 News, F1 Videos, and also the channel name, Formula One Dudes, everything related to our niche. Then we can go to advanced settings. Uh, do you want to set your channel as made for kids? No, this is very important, say no. Then for now we have basically done everything here. Feature, eligibility, you want to make sure that you verify your phone number so you can actually upload custom thumbnails to live streaming, all that stuff, you can do that simply right here. So then let's take a look at the upload defaults. So for the upload defaults, we can basically set a uh, description template that we can use for every single video. And I've also added the free template, the free description in the link down below. And this is how it looks like. So this will be the video title, subscribe now with all notifications uh, for more Formula One news in this case, because that's our niche. You want to add an intro for the video, subscribe here. This is where you can add the link of your channel. And then here's where you can add your email address. And then right here is where you can add the hashtag of your channel name, which is in this case, Formula One Dudes. We can also add tags, which will in this case, again, be Formula One and Formula One Dudes. That's good for now. Then advanced settings, and we can set the category, which is sports for me, but basically select any category that applies to your niche. Standard YouTube license video language, which will be set to English, just like that. Then also the title and description language in English, 
and then you're basically good to go for this. So then we are basically done doing the settings right here and then we can hit save. So now you want to go right here to customization because for the customization we want to add a logo and a banner and a channel description to our channel. So first of all you want to go to branding. This is where you can add the profile picture and a banner image and then in basic information this is where you can add the description and also for the description i have a template which i again will leave in the link down below so right now i'm just gonna paste in the channel description so on the formula one channel just like that so under formula one dudes channel we show you the following things and this is then where you add, will add four bullet points of things you show on the channel and then right here uh, subscribe now for more formula one just like that and that is basically it for the description so we can hit publish and so now we'll show you how you can actually create a logo and a banner for free. So for the creation of our logo and our banner, we are going to be using Canva, which is completely free. It's online. It's called canva.com. Again, I will leave a link down below and this is where we can create it. So we want to hit create a design and we can type in YouTube banner just like that. And there we go. So now we can also select a template right here. So we have, for example, this one and I can change the name to Formula One Dudes, but I don't like the font. So we're really going to change that to Monster at Classics, maybe not really. Um, let's see if this fits better. So I will just do this real quick. I'm not going to show how to do this in two hours because it's a full tutorial. But of course, make sure that you put some time in this. Make sure that the banner actually looks good as well as the logo. So you actually have a high quality banner, which you can make for free right here. So then for the text, all about Formula One. And this is then the banner I have. So now I can hit share and go to download and I simply hit download and there we go. We now have a banner for our channel. Now for the logo, it's very similar. We can basically type in YouTube logo instead of banner, just like that, YouTube channel logo. And there we go. Now we can also look for a template. For example, we can choose this and we can change the name to formula Mula one dudes. And then also change the icon, which is right now a light bulb. Let's change that to a racing car. So maybe we can type in Formula One right here, which gives us a few things. So it even gives us this, which you can make white. And now it's already more in a Formula One or car racing vibe, which is much better than it was before. So then we can do the same thing, share, download, and then make sure it's a, it's a PNG, download. And now we have the logo. So of course, if I were you, I would spend a bit more time on fine tuning the logo and the banner. I just did this real quick to show you how to actually do this. So now from the channel, we can basically hit upload right here and here to actually set this as our banner image and set this as our profile picture. So right here, we can now select the logo and we can hit done and you can see it set as logo. And now we can do the same thing for the banner, just like that and we can hit done. And then we publish and now we have basically set both the logo and the banner. And now the very important thing that I wanted to mention is about the email address because you need to add a contact information email address on your channel. At least I would recommend that, but never, never share the email address right here where you created the channel with. And the reason for that is hackers. If hackers don't know your email address, it's really hard to get into your channel. But if you share the exact email address right here, where you created the channel with, it's really easy or much more accessible for hackers to get into your account. So make sure this is a different email address. So now let's talk about one of the most important things of your YouTube automation business, creating the actual videos. So this will be a full step-by-step -step guide on how you can create your own YouTube videos for free. So in this video, we're gonna start with the script. This is the first thing you need to do when creating a video, but for the script, we need a topic. And for the sake of this video, the topic will be top 10 most expensive crashes in Formula One history. We are going to make a script about this, a voiceover, a video edit, and a thumbnail. And at the end, we will have a full video. So first of all, you want to open up a Google Doc file on the internet, on Google, where we can actually create our script in. So besides our own writing skills and besides Google Docs, we are also going to be using one tool which is going to be very helpful and going to speed up the process for creating the script massively. And that tool is called ChatGPT. And I have it open right here, chat.openai.com. And this is a very, very handy tool that we are going to be using to create the script for us. 
So first of all, you want to create an account. You want to go to chat.openai.com slash chat. And this is then the page, how it will look like. So now you can see right here, I generated 10 of the bullet points of this script, which as you can see, first one, Michael Schumacher accident, 1.5 million, and it goes all the way down to four, uh, $150,000 in crashes. You can see it builds up and it all makes sense. So they basically do, do the research for us so we don't have to do this ourselves. So now what we can straight away do, we can basically paste, copy this and paste it in the script. And of course, this is not a normal script, but these are bullet points. So now uh, what we can do is we can copy the title again and we can say, write an intro for top 10 most expensive crashes in F1 history. And now it's going to make an intro for us. So as you can see, it's generating. We don't have to write any of this ourselves, And this is all without plagiarism or copyright. So there we go. Now we have a script ready, which we can copy as well. We can go to the script and now we can use this as our actual intro for the video. And then now what we can do, we can grab each um, bullet point. So for example, this one, we just copy it and we base it basically again in JetGPT. And now it's gonna generate text for this specific crash. So now at the end, when you do all of this, all of the bullet points right here, and you use JetGPT to write the script for each bullet point, at the end, you will have a full script for a video. So you can see right here, we can copy it again. We can go back to the actual script. We can paste it in and this is how you want to do that. So in the end, you have a full script. Maybe you have to tweak some things in the script from the AI that generated it, but this will massively help you actually generate the script. And this has no plagiarism, no copyright. And that's what we are going to check on this website. I will leave a link down below. And this is what we want to do right here. We want to copy and paste our text. So we can do this for our intro, for example. We go back, we paste it in, we say click here. And now we want to go back because we don't want to pay. And now we generated this through the plagiarism check. You can see 0% plagiarism, 100% unique, which is awesome. So in case there is a little bit of plagiarism, 10 to 20%, that's still fine for a YouTube video, but 100% is awesome. So we are totally fine doing this. Now let's take a look at the voiceover. Now we have the script ready. We actually have to do the voiceover and we have three options for this. We can read it out loud ourselves doing the voiceover using our own voice, which is completely free. So we don't have to pay anything easy. We can do it ourselves or we can hire a freelancer on Fiverr such a work to do the voiceover for us, or we can use a free AI voiceover found online. So we have three options that we can choose. So now when it comes to the voiceover, a lot of people are afraid to actually speak. They are afraid that their accent is really bad, that people don't like their voice, and overall they're just very insecure about the voice. And now trust me, when I started doing voiceovers, being a 16 year old Dutch boy, I had a strong Dutch accent and I was really insecure about my voice, but I still did it. And in the end, no one cares about your voice. As long as it is clear, it is decent quality, then it's okay. And you don't have to pay anything it's awesome. And the good thing about this, when you do it yourself, you don't have to pay anything. It's free. So for the voiceover, I would still highly recommend you to do the voiceover yourself with your own voice. So the second option right here will uh, fail because we cannot hire a freelancer because this is a free tutorial. And for this, we got to invest some money because the freelancers are not going to work for free. So the only options are, are one and three. And to be honest, I would prefer one, because sometimes there are monetization issues with a uh, AI voiceover, but I found a very, very good AI voiceover that I'm going to show you in a bit, which is almost completely realistic. And that website is called Well Said Labs, AI text-to-speech AI voiceover. And this is the website. We can try this for free. It has a free trial, but you can do that over and over again. So this is how we can actually get the voiceover. And here we have some samples where you can listen to. You simply want to create your account and then we can paste in the script right here. Okay, then once you create your account on Well Said Labs for free, we can create a new project and we can give this a name. So I'm gonna give this name one just as this project. We can hit create. So now we open it up and we can paste in our script. So right here, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna paste in the uh, intro of the script, but you, you of course want to put in your whole script. We can paste it in here. Narration US, promo US, I'm just gonna put it like this and we can hit create just like that. And I was going to make our voice file. So right now it has been made and we can click 
play. Speed, high stakes sport. Okay, this is now the voiceover and we can simply download it uh, by clicking this button. So this is not my first choice. This would not be my first choice. As I said, using AI voice on YouTube can be tricky sometimes. This one is quite realistic, so you won't get in much trouble, but sometimes when YouTube thinks you're not delivering enough external value to a video in terms of a reaction, an opinion, a good voiceover, they might demonetize your content. To be safe from that, I would highly recommend you to just use your own voice and a microphone. And for that, if you choose to do that, I would recommend you to use Audacity to record your voice high quality. So this is what I've been using as well. You can see it's over right now. It's recording my voice right now. You can simply go to Audacity. I'll also leave a link down below so you can get this for free and then just read out the script out loud yourself. So yes, video editing, let's create the actual video. And video editing can be one of the hardest parts of a the creation of a YouTube video. Of course, you need to find content, you need to put everything together and everything is gonna form like a full video. And you need to make sure that you do the things right here, that you don't run in copyright issues, copyrighted music, anything like that. We want to do this the right way. So I have a list of video editing software that's available for free, which is Capwing, DaVinci Resolve, OpenShot, Windows Video Editor, and CapCut. I'm sure there are way more options that you can choose for free, even paid versions. Maybe you're watching this, you also have Zony Vegas or Premiere Pro, and you're familiar with that, then obviously choose whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use it with Capwing, as that's online based, it's free and easy to use. But indeed, if you have another software you want to use, then I would just recommend to use that. So for Capwing, I will leave a link down in the description as well. It's simply capwing.com. You can create an account for free. And this is the page once you've created an account that we want to open up a new project. Then this is how it's gonna look like. And we want to start with a blank canvas in 16 by nine, which is the YouTube aspect ratio. So we want to go into this and this is then how it looks like. Completely white, completely blank, because we need to find files ourselves and we need to add the voiceover that we just generated in here as well. So first of all, what we want to do, we want to add the voiceover in here, which is right here, which is uploading right now. So make sure you upload the voiceover that we have recorded in here. And then you might be thinking, Hassel, where do we get the footage from? We don't have any content. How do we do that? So there are three sources basically that we're going to be using, Pexels, Pixabay, and YouTube itself, because there is a fair use rule on YouTube that you can use copyrighted or other people's content if you use it less than seven seconds and if you use enough editing material. So just make sure that the overall video adds enough external value. So that can be a reaction, a good voiceover, nice transitions, animations, make sure it's nice and flowy, you use pictures, not only videos, and that way you can use copyrighted material without getting strikes or without getting issues. So now for the content, we basically want to go back to the script and then look for relevant pictures that match the script. So Formula One is a high speed, high stakes sport where even the slightest mistake can lead to a costly crash. So we can basically type in Formula One uh, car uh, or race, something like that. And then we get a picture that we can use in our video. So let's see, maybe we can use this one. We just display it for a few seconds and we go over to another video, to another piece of footage. And you basically want to find content that matches the script. So high speed and here costly crash. So you want to display a crash, mechanical failure. Maybe you want to show people that are working on the car, driver errors, maybe someone that is visibly making a driver error. You want to just go over the internet, find footage you can fit into this. So for that, I've already done some research. You can see here some pictures that I chose. Let's open one of these just like this. We can see a picture of them just racing. We can then see a picture of a car flying, which basically shows a crash. And then a guy uh, fixing the car, all this stuff that we can use in the videos. And then when we go to Capwing, we can basically drag all those videos onto the Gapwing editor. So right here I have all the files. I can simply just drag in all the files right here. So then with all the footage you have right here, we first want to delete all of them to make it a bit more clear. So make sure that it's completely empty. Now we can go to our, uh, our media that we uploaded just like that. And this is where all the media will be. So now uh, for the voiceover, we want to put it right here and we can see when we listen to it. Formula One is a high speed. Okay, there it is. And now we want to pick our first 
footage of first um, picture in this case. So for me, that will be this one, which is a crash happening. You can see uh, we just want to display it for a brief moment. And then we want to hit S on the keyboard and we can see now the file splits and we want to put the volume all the way down. And now we can delete this big file and we can place it right here. So this is the actual music. So we want to make sure it's nice on around 100, which is perfect. We want to bring this down. So now we have the footage right here on top and it's gonna look something like this. And we want to make sure that, again, all the clips match the music. So I actually listed them from one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have, we already know in our mind where each picture is gonna be. So number two is gonna be here. And then we align it to the text or to the script. Then number three is gonna be here, just like that. Number four is gonna be there. So from all the research you've done based on the script, we are going to put it into Catwing just like this. Then we have number five, which is right here, which basically shows a lot of crashes. And then we have number six, which is right here, which is Hamilton walking. So we have to make sure that this fits nicely because right now it's kind of cropped. So we have to make sure it looks nice, which could work like this. And again, we want to make this a bit shorter. So we hit S on our keyboard on the part that we want to stop it just like that. And we delete this part and then we put it just like that so we can see Hamilton walking. And again, we want to put the volume down right here. Otherwise you hear two voiceovers basically talking to each other, which is not what we want. So you want to make sure that every picture, every video that you took matches the voiceover, that you don't use it for longer than seven seconds, add some pop-ups. Um, I'm not a huge Capwing editor, experience editor, but I know the basics of it. We can also add zooms. So for example, for this picture, we can just go onto this picture and we can go to effects and moving really zoom. Nice. And you can see that now while it moves, the picture gets zoomed in, which increases the audience retention, which makes it more appealing to watch. And it basically improves the average view duration on our video. So as you can see, I can add a lot of things. You can add subtitles. You can even add pop-ups, animations. But at the end of the day, it's just about adding the right footage to the voiceover. Then once you're done, you can hit export project right here and we can say export anyway. I've made a few mistakes. I've done this really quickly to just show you how this works globally. But of course, when you do this yourself, make sure everything is aligned correctly. Make sure everything is done probably invest some time in this and then you want to hit export. So I want to export this as MP4, MP4 file resolution. We can put it in auto in this case. And for you, I would put this on the highest quality because for YouTube, we want to make it the highest quality possible export it and then it basically looks like this. So Capwing is free, but it does show a watermark as we can see right here. So as I said, if you already have programs installed, Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, use that stuff. This is just for the beginning. If you want to do it for free, if you have no money, this is the best way how you can get started doing that. Bro. So now the video is rendered, we can download this and we can upload this on YouTube later. But first, let's create the thumbnail. So for the thumbnail, you simply want to go to canva.com right here. And Canva is free. And this is an online designing tool that we can use to create thumbnails. So you want to create an account for free and go to the top and hit create a design. And this is why you want to type in YouTube and then a thumbnail, just like that. And we hit on this one and this brings us a perfect thumbnail template where we can start building it. So to actually look for the perfect thumbnail for a video, we have to analyze what competitors are doing and we just have to make sure it looks good. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So first of all, the title of this video was most expensive crashes in F1 history. So we can basically search for um, F1 crash and then look for pictures. So we go to images. We simply want to look for crashes. So this could be a perfect one. We basically want to hit copy image, go back and we make it big just like that. And this is not a picture that we can use for our thumbnail. So now what I ideally want is show a face either on the left or the right side of the thumbnail. In this case, I want to add it to the right side of the thumbnail. And we want to add a famous character in the F1 world, as that is our niche. So we can do, for example, Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, Max Verstappen. So let's actually do Max Verstappen and then angry face, just to show emotion, because emotion is what makes a, a thumbnail attractive. So for example, when he looks angry or very happy, this one could work perfectly. We want to go to remove.bg and you can basically choose any 
picture by the way also other characters then we want to download this image to your pc and um, then on remove.bg you want to upload it just like that and then it's automatically removing the background which is amazing and now we can go back we can put the max for step and face on here we can make make it big and boom we have it without a background for free so we can put it in just like that and we want to add a shadow we want to go to edit image shadows glow and now we can add this and give this a bit of a shadow just like that and the thunder is not done yet because right now it's not really showing anything about expensive crashes so what we can do we can go to text add a heading and we can add any type of text any font that looks good for example monster at extra bold we say we can say for example two million just like that we want to make it white then we want to put it right here and we want to add the background for it as well which we can make in red just like that and we can add it just like that and now we center it and now when we select it we can make it look like this and we can add an arrow so we basically want to type in arrow we want to make the arrow in red as well in this case and we want to aim this on the formula one car so this is a very basic thumbnail you can see a crash happening a familiar face in the niche you are in so in this case formula one two million dollars so this already uh, generates curiosity and people now want to know what's actually behind this what are actually the biggest most expensive crashes in f1 history so now we have our thumbnail ready we have our video ready we can start uploading this on youtube so to upload your video we basically want to go to our youtube channel we can then go to create right here and select upload video and from upload video we basically want to drag the file in here so this is the video file where we want to add the title and all the information that's necessary in the description so we want to add the actual title and then right here we want to add the title again and this is where you want to add an intro for the video so this is what you can generate in jet gpt as well by ai this is where you want to add your subscriber link or your youtube channel link and then this is where you want to add your email address so for business inquiries copyright matters email us at this email address so make sure you add a contact email address right here then you want to add the thumbnail right here really important make sure you add the thumbnail right here don't forget it and then we go to show more this is where we can add the tags and for the tags i have a tool which is called rapidtags.io, just like that. And this is where we can generate tags for free without much work. So we basically want to grab the title of the video. We paste it in here, hit search, and now it's gonna generate a lot of related tags for the videos. So we can copy this and we simply paste it in here. And that's it. So uh, everything else is already set correctly by default. So we can hit next and we can hit next again. And then here we can upload and schedule the video. So now that we have uploaded our video, how do we actually get views? What is the secret to blow up on YouTube? So first things first, in order to blow up in YouTube, you need to have videos. You cannot expect YouTube to push your videos if you only have one or two or three videos uploaded on the channel. So consistency is key. That is point one. If you're not consistent, you will not succeed with YouTube automation. You want to create a schedule and start working from that schedule. For example, upload every single day, every other day, every three days, whatever it is, but you need to do that. You need to stay consistent. So you want to focus mainly on these three things, finding a good topic, improving the click through rate, which is mainly through the title and to the thumbnail and improving the average view duration, which has all to do with the script, the voiceover and the editing. If your click through rate is low, start improving your titles. Do some more research in the titles, do more research and spend more time in creating better thumbnails for the average view duration is pretty much the same if the average view duration is low look at the comments what do the comments say do people don't like the video don't they like the voiceover start improving from the feedback you get on your videos so also improve the editing what do people say again make sure that people actually enjoy watching it so people come back over and over again so write a script with cliffhangers write a script that is not boring and this way people actually watch longer, which improves the average view duration. And that's exactly what we want. The higher the AVD and the CTR, the better it looks for YouTube, the better data they get, the more they will push our videos. And the last thing that may sound very simple is simply asking your audience to like and subscribe. You can do a simple pop-up in the video. You can basically ask them if they enjoyed watching to subscribe and like. And a lot of people don't do this. And this is not a magical thing. It's not like by doing this, you will blow up but this still will increase the amount of likes and subscribers you get. If you get more subscribers, you can get monetized faster 
And if you get more likes, YouTube gets more feedback from the viewers that this is a good video and it will push it more. Then now let's cover how you can actually make money with YouTube. So first of all, we have AdSense revenue. This is the most common way of making money on YouTube. And this is all through ads on your YouTube videos. Right now, before watching this exact video right here, you have probably seen an advertisement as well. And that makes me a little bit of money. So in order to get to a point where you're monetized with the YouTube Partner Program, you need to have at least 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. Then we also have external ways to monetize our content. And the first way of that is doing affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing works as follows. You promote a product of someone else and in return you make a commission. So what you can do, you can place an affiliate link on your YouTube channel in the YouTube description. Then if a customer makes a purchase through your link, then the conversions are tracked because it's your own personal link and you receive a commission per sale you make. So the more sales you make, the more money you make. So an example of this could be, you can promote a microphone in your videos and you can leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description so people can easily buy it through your link down below. Then brand deals. And a brand deal is simply where you do a promotion for a service or product of someone else's business. And in return, you obviously get paid. So you're basically putting an advertisement of the brand in your video. And now depending on the size of your channel, the brand will offer different amounts, but usually brand deals can already be a few thousands of dollars. So unlike affiliate marketing, where you really have to generate sales before you make money, with brand deals, you are already getting paid once you do the promotion. Then memberships. This is basically where you create an exclusive area next to your channel. And if people want to join that, they have to pay. And you can provide your audience with exclusive videos and other forms of content. And for them to get access, they have to pay you. So for example, if you can create an exclusive area for $10 a month and 100 people join, you already added an additional $1,000 per month to your cash flow. Now, I also want to cover some mistakes that a lot of people make when doing YouTube. First of all, using copyrighted music in videos. When you're using music in your videos that is copyrighted, you can get claims or even strikes. This way you will not be able to monetize your content. So make sure the music you use is royalty free and does not have any form of copyright. Then starting the wrong type of channel, starting a meditation channel, a compilation channel or a rain video channel. It's all not a good idea simply because YouTube thinks those videos are way too repetitive. Lately, they have been demonetizing a lot of those channels. TikTok compilations, rain videos, white noise videos, all of that is pretty much impossible to monetize in 2023 and beyond. And what I see a lot of people doing as well is sub for sub, asking others to subscribe to your channel and you do the same to their channel. And this really doesn't work. People that subscribe to your channel don't care about your videos. They will destroy all the data on your channel and overall this will completely kill the engagement and growth. So data on YouTube is very valuable and very precise. And if you mess with this data by adding subscribers through sub for sub or buying subscribers, your channel can completely head into the wrong direction. Now I also want to show you a few free tools that you can use to boost your growth, to find keywords, to improve SEO, to basically improve overall growth. First of all, we can use VidIQ. So VidIQ has a paid plan, but it also has a free plan. So we can use this for free. You can see trusted by leading creators. You can see that right here. And this is basically what you can do. You can see channel stats of your own channel, but also from competitors. You can compare your channel to competitors that you can add. Uh, you can set milestones. You can basically do a lot of things that you cannot do in YouTube itself. You can see here, uh, get more views, keywords related. You can see related keywords, related videos. You can see all this data that you cannot see on your own YouTube studio. And now since the last few months, they actually integrated artificial intelligence. And this can be very, very useful for finding titles or optimizing titles. So you can see here, save hours of research, see into the future and break new ground. So this is the first thing I want to show you. VidIQ, you can sign up for free and use the free version. So now we also have TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy is kind of the same. It has a few other features than VidIQ, but overall it's pretty similar. Optimize your YouTube channel faster. You can see trusted by leading creators. You can see it right here. A lot of big businesses are using it. It's also completely free. Find the perfect key keywords, cut publishing time in half and rank higher in search results. That's all what they help with. 
So again, TrueBuddy, also free. You can get it right here. And again, I will leave a link down below. And on the YouTube website, you can actually add this as an extension. You can see right here, I have added VidIQ as an extension. I can see all my statistics uh, right here. So same for TrueBuddy, I can go in here to actually view my channel, view all the data. And that's basically what I would recommend for free tools. So now some of you might think this is cool and a hassle. Um, you can create a script, you can do the voiceover, edit the videos. I now have a good idea of what this looks like, but I don't have time. I cannot do this. I don't have enough time to actually start with this. And I can understand that. And it's always a matter of what is worth more. Do you have a lot of time, but not a lot of money? Then of course, go ahead and do the work yourself. Invest time in creating the videos. Or is it the other way around? Do you have a job? Uh, you are busy. You don't have that much spare time, but you do have a decent amount of money. Then I would recommend you to hire freelancers. By hiring freelancers, you don't have to do the work yourself, but obviously for that, you need money. And if you're right now in a position where you say, I don't have time, but I also don't have money, then it's pretty impossible to start any form of business because you either need one of the two, right? So you cannot start it without doing anything. You need to let other people work or you need to do the work yourself. So this is basically the end of this full YouTube automation tutorial for free. Congratulations if you have watched this till the end. That means that you're committed, that you actually want to start. And I really, really hope you have learned something from that. If that is the case, I would highly appreciate for you to subscribe to my channel. That's also completely free. I've given you this value, so I would highly appreciate that. See you in the next video. Bye.